What's up, Wahoo fans? Welcome to the Orange and Blue Report, brought to you by the UVA Health System. My name is Jordan Lavender, and with me today is Marcus Hagens, the wide receiver coach for the UVA football team. Jordan, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Awesome. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about your wide receivers. You have a versatile group with you this year. You have Alameda Zacchaeus, you have Andre Lavroni, and you have Donnie Dowling. Each of them have four touchdowns, and they bring a different skill set to the table. Talk to me a little bit about coaching all of them. Oh, uh, they're, they're a pleasure to coach. Um, they've given me a few extra gray hairs a little early, <laughs> but um, they are fun to coach. They um, they come to work every day prepared, ready to work, ready to learn, and um, it's, it's awesome to see the, the success that they're having on the field so far. So hopefully those guys can in, continue to encourage each other, continue to work um, in a capacity that allows us to get better, and um, you know just continue to reap the benefits of preparing and, and the hard work that they're putting in. And uh, you also have to give a little bit of credit to the quarterback as well. And you being a, a former uh, wide receiver and quarterback, you bring a unique perspective to the table. So talk to me a little bit about um, Kurt Benkert. I think Kurt is, um, is a really good leader for our team. Um, he's worked hard all offseason. He's done a really good job. He's done a really good job of organizing off-season workouts as far as throwing uh, seven on seven when the coaches aren't around. And um, I think he's earned the respect of his teammates. And um, it's awesome to see um, the work that he's put in so far starting to pay off. So we're we're definitely happy to have him. And uh, he he makes my guys' jobs a lot easier. So um, I understand how it is to deliver the ball from the pocket and you know on the other perspective catch it on the outside as well. So he does a, a really good job of um, standing in the pocket and delivering some tough throws, and it's, it's paid off early for us so, so far this, this season. Right. Now, when push comes to shove, do you think you could, you could suit up and you could do what those guys are doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not really. I think my, my window has come and gone. Um, those hits hurt, and I'm, I'm very fortunate to have walked away from the game with no major injuries. And so um, I do enjoy watching it more than I did uh, playing it now because I, I can't get hit. So I, I, I don't think I could do it anymore. I, I don't miss that aspect of it. Okay. Now, one of your uh, uh, former teammates is still doing it, Chris Long. And some news came out about him. He's offering up a very generous um, gesture. Can you talk to a little bit about that? Chris's um, opportunity to make a difference in the world was he um, donated his first six game checks um, to further education in the city of Charlottesville. And as of yesterday, um, he decided to donate the rest of his um, contract for the season to, to further education in cities that he's played, St. Louis, Boston, and Philadelphia. And so, you know, some people may say he's playing for free, but I, I think he's planning to make a difference in the world. And so not only is, is he a really good football player, but he's a really good person. My oldest son is named after Chris because of the man he is. And so to have that impact and be that role model for my kids to directly be able to see um, not just so much what he does on the field, but what he does off the field. That's why I respect him and admire him, and um, it's, it's to be commended. And so to know that he's a Wahoo and um, the things that he's doing to change the world is awesome, and I'm, I'm very fortunate to know him. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Wahoo fans, make sure you tune in on Friday for the breakdown of the Boston College football game. For Marcus Hagens, I'm Jordan Lavender.